Sun Moncheon was previously a feared and violent South Korean criminal whose televised escape from prison left him steeped in infamy. This escape led to a manhunt that would have him evade local police for years. Despite a nationwide manhunt, he narrowly avoided arrest on many occasions. Chang's crime spree came to a halt when complacency caused him to overestimate a ROC SWC Black Beret team led by the intent crack commando, Captain Jane Kim. These illicit exploits caught the attention of the Armada Admiral Amber. Watching Chang via hacked prison surveillance footage, she saw he possessed immense potential. Not only did his massive size alone intimidate the hardest convicts in his block, but his penchant for calculated violence, tempered by an uncanny level of patience, earned him respect. Though Chang easily broke out of prison, his escape was routed by the infamous Armada Admiral, and he was forced to endure the Armada's military rehabilitation camp. During this time, Chang embraced the rehabilitation methods and demonstrated a predilection for brutality, violence, and unrelenting leadership. Under Admiral Amber's tutelage, Chang was reforged into the successful, albeit ruthless Admiral, Grizzly. It's time for another installment of the Gunship Battle Total Warfare Combat Command Academy. I'm your host, Redick, and today we're going to talk about the Alliance system and its benefits. As you face off against Grizzly and the rest of the Armada, a time will come where you will have a hard time winning those fights alone. Well, you're in luck, because you're not the only dog in this fight. Joining arms with other admirals will tip the scales in your favor. So what's so great about joining an alliance? Uh, well, before we all start dropping warheads on foreheads together, joining an alliance will help with HQ progression. For example, you can receive Alliance member support that will reduce construction and research time. Every Alliance comes equipped with quality of life, features, and buffs provided by buildings and research. You can work with other players to overcome challenges and obtain some awesome rewards. Joining an Alliance is pretty simple. All you have to do is tap on the Alliance icon on the bottom left corner of your screen. You will see a list of Alliances with details like combat power, member count, and preferred language. Pick one that best matches your preferences, whether casual or hardcore. I'm gonna have to apologize, sorry folks, uh, but Reddick's Snake Bro Alliance is full up. If you're one of those types who prefer to lead, then you can create your own alliance by spending 200 gold. That's a pretty good deal if I say so myself. Be sure to prepare a unique alliance name and an abbreviation. This is what other players see in game. Not happy with your abbreviation? You can change it at any time at no cost but you will need to spend more gold if you want to change your alliance name and or symbol. As the alliance leader, you can set up your requirements and new member acceptance methods. After your alliance is all situated, it's time to start building. Every alliance has access to unique buildings, each with its own abilities that can benefit all alliance members. These buildings consist of the alliance base, depot, air defense system, assault base, wall, and naval mine. To construct or repair any of these buildings, you will need to deploy them at sea. After that, your Alliance members will need to contribute resources. All the Alliance buildings, except the Alliance base and assault base, can only be constructed within your territory. If the territory gets destroyed or the durability of your buildings drops to zero, then your Alliance members cannot access their abilities. So, make sure to keep your buildings protected. Enough with the buildings. Now let's talk about how to build up your Alliance members. How to, right? Alliance Research is your answer. Alliance Research provides buffs that are automatically applied to all Alliance members. There are four buff categories to conduct. Attack, Defend, Build, and Produce. Attack increases AFV stats. Defend increases ship stats. Build improves Alliance buildings. And Produce improves resource, unit, and building production. Only the highest ranked Alliance members can pick and conduct research. Finishing them will be completely up to the individual contributions of your Alliance members. So, keep donating those resources. Unless you know you're... STINGY! Looking at you, Dragonfly. Are you ready to show your Alliance what you're worth? Then the Alliance Festival is the perfect opportunity to show what you're worth. 
The Alliance Festival is a core feature in which Alliance members obtain personal contribution rewards by participating in advanced, party, and achievement quests. Taking part in the Alliance Festival will grant players contribution buffs, Alliance ranking rewards, and incentives. To participate, head over to the bottom left corner of the menu and tap on the Alliance Festival icon. You'll be greeted with party, competition, and achievement quests. The Party Quest requires Alliance members to work together in completing a quest within a time limit. After accepting the quest, you can call for the other member's assistance by pressing the Help button. A message will pop up in the Alliance chat. Just make sure that there are active members online. Next up is the Competition Quest. Alliances can qualify for this feature by getting your Alliance base to level 2. Now to do that, you're going to have to spend a little Alliance coin. Those shiny Alliance coins are obtainable at the Alliance Depot and gained through resources donated by your Alliance members. When your Alliance base hits level 2, you will unlock the competition quest. However, keep in mind that each quest will require Alliance coins, and only the highest ranked Alliance members can participate. Once a quest is complete, they can get more Alliance coins. Your Alliance can only run a competition quest twice a day. If you fail, you can try again. But that's it. You're only allowed those two tries. Lastly, we have achievement quests. Whenever your alliance reaches a certain milestone, the game will reward you with some sweet items. Do not forget to claim them. <laughs> reward yourself with the bonuses you deserve after a hard day's work. Once a week, you can select and claim rewards or incentives through the Incentive Distribution Rep. The incentives are unlocked through the contribution of all alliance members. By spending your personal contribution points, you can receive the rewards. Just hope you've been practicing your signature. Generous Alliance contributors can receive buffs. Based on your personal contribution to the Alliance Festival, the top 10 contributors will receive the contribution ranking buffs. You can check out who the top three contributors are on the Alliance main page. If you and your Alliance work really hard, then you might end up getting even better rewards. During the festival server ranking period, all competing servers will be ranked according to their ranking contributions. Special Alliance members from alliances that achieve 11th place or better will receive rewards. Admirals with high personal contributions are guaranteed to receive them. So, keep completing those quests. After completing the Alliance Festival quests, you may have noticed that some of those quests reward you with honor points. Maybe you should treat yourself and buy yourself something nice from the Alliance Shop. The Alliance Shop contains exclusive content accessible via your Alliance menu. Depending on your rank within the Alliance, you can get discounts for some special items. You can even get a random item for free, once a day. But remember to check the list of available items, because that too will reset once a day. Every good organization requires structure and a resolute chain of command. Now that's where the Alliance member grade comes in. Each Alliance can have 1 R5, 5 R4, 10 R3, and an unlimited number of R2 and R1 Alliance ranked members. Alliance creators will automatically be ranked at R5. Each rank has access to certain Alliance features. So you're gonna have to be really careful when handing out those promotions. Speaking of trust, you can form partnerships with other Alliances on your server with the Alliance Diplomacy System. The system lets your Alliance determine who your allies and enemies are. To form a partnership, Search for the name of an alliance and send them a request. Make sure the other alliance accepts it, or else it won't count. To figure out who's who, check out the color of their movement and territory lines. If your relationship goes sour, then your ally can terminate the partnership without your approval at any time. So before you decide to go to war against another alliance, make sure to give a partnership a chance. You know how the old saying goes, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Well, that's it for now. Now, uh, nobody's going to be able to join the, the Reddick Alliance, Snake Bro Alliance. Now I'm an army of one. Anyway, thank you. Remember to like this video and subscribe to the Gunship Battle Total Warfare YouTube channel. More content is on the way. Fear the bones. We'll see you next time.